Hi, wolves. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. I'm actually live on time today. Only like 30 seconds late. Everybody clock in. Clock in if you're early. Hi, Rick Rat. Can we get some yos? Hello. I am fully rested. I am ready for today. Also, whoops, can I say? <laughs> Thank you for like chatting in Scootish's stream. I feel really awkward whenever I raid out. I never do. The main reason why I chose Scootish is because he was playing Mario Kart, so I knew it was gonna be like more PG stuff. But thank you for chatting and playing last night. In one of the races though, because he did playing with viewers for like one race before he ended, I had first for like half a lap. Ah, uh, yes, rotting in bed in style with watching PC. Slay! Thank you for the resub, is 22 months? Holy moly. Can we get some whistles in chat? Thank you. Also, Issa, I don't know. It's been a while since we've seen you in chat. But you may notice you have a founder's badge now. Because... <laughs> It's because I've had a few founders, like, unfollow my channel, so I just took away their badge. So, Issa, congrats. You are officially an OG now. But thank you. I just realized it earlier today. Yeah, I think I changed it, like, two months ago. Because, like, I'll check my founders list just occasionally. So, congrats. Also, everybody, while we're waiting, I have a new YouTube video up. Um, click the link and watch it later. <laughs> Ain't no way. Pause the music. Five gifted subs? Holy shit! Yes, that's one curse. Thank you, Wissa, for the five gifted. Can we get some Wissas in chat? Holy shit. Thank you. Is that a late Christmas gift? Thank you. It was paid yesterday? Pog. Oh, wait, you got a job? It's been so long since we've seen Issa in chat. The last time you chatted, I think you said you were at the gym. <laughs> but thank you. Um, I'll turn face cam on. I'll do it for the fans. Wait, I, no, not yet. I have to post on IG. You know, I want to be an influencer. I have a full-time job with a car now? Holy shit! Sorry, I'm cursing too much. I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> but that's great! Get that bag. Wait, did we hit our sub goal? No, we didn't. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, I do not want to do an evening stream today. I was supposed to play Baldur's Gate with my friend last night, but they were too tired, so I'm gonna play with them tonight. Currently in like 21k in debt, but it's fine. You know what? We love student debt. Can't like Biden just wipe it already? What is nice though, Issa, because since I'm technically disabled, I was able to get a majority of my student loans forgiven. I just have to like not work for three years. Smile. Okay, so welcome in and everybody with Issa, Wolves, Keelan, and Rigorat in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Yeah, it's a big dub, honestly. It'll be removed from my credit score within like two months, they said. Mine is just an auto load, dude. Because like, I was scrambling because I graduated in summer, right? So I would have had to start paying back my loans like now in January. But I was able to submit paperwork in time to where... Since I'm disabled, they just wiped majority of my student debt, which is pog. But it's also like sad that like 
I can't physically work. Came just when you started. Let's go! Hi, Totoro. Can we get some yos? Hello. Um, Issa, since you gifted subs, you get to add some ornaments to the tree. Here, you guys are going on a field trip. Anyway, how are you guys doing on this lovely Saturday? I actually click go live today. Thank you for choosing to spend your weekend with me. <laughs> I dropped one, it's fine. I don't need it. Um, plan for today is simple. We're gonna rank all the DLC tr The bow fell off. Is that, like, a bad sign? I don't under- <laughs> No, it's not that I don't understand superstition. I'm not superstitious. And I think that was bad luck. So far, very chill. Mine, too. You know, I went for my morning walk. I didn't see any cats, so I was kind of sad. I made myself breakfast. Guys, only one more stream with the tree and then it's gone forever. I have committed. I will take the Christmas tree down during January. I'm not going to leave it up all year. My roommates, they want to leave the tree up. This is the hallway up all year. And they were the ones bitching at me last year for leaving the tree up in the living room. So. I think they're a bunch of fake fans. Ta-da! There we go. We added five gifts. Wait. We added five gifts to the tree once again. Thank you, Issa, for the five gifted. I appreciate you. Thank you. Also, guys, gifted subs are still 25% off, so hopefully you got, like, five bucks off that gifted subs. Are you sure that tree is not gonna fall down? No, literally, the tree is leaning forward, because I put barely any ornaments on the back. But you know what? It's fine. I think it's kind of charming. Guys, it's 11-11. Make your wishes. Make a wish. I also have my yogurt today. Okay. I gotta get my water. See, it's either I go live 30 minutes late or I go live on time and I'm not ready. No, I'm basically ready. Okay. Everybody? Anything to address before I get started? Any drama? Any big drama? No, big drama. I just went to bed after stream. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be continuing the ranking Mario Kart track stream. Last time we did regular tracks and now we're doing all the DLC. So everybody... Say hi, YouTube. I will edit this down. Talking about YouTube, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. new video was out put today. Okay. Hi, Doodoob. <laughs> yeah, I, this is my ritual. <laughs> it's so stupid. Last time we did this, we ranked all 48 of the original Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. Today, we're- <laughs> I think I burped a little. <laughs> I'm trying again. I'm trying again. Last time we did this, we ranked all of the original 48 tracks on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. Today, we're going to be doing all 48 of the DLC for the booster pack that was released over the course of the past year. All the tracks are finally out, so now we can rate them accordingly. Okay. <laughs> Let's play this stupid game. No, I love Mario Kart. 
<clears throat> okay, today I'm gonna be doing Mario, because it's a classic. And I played Pauline for like three hours the last time we did this. I wanna do Mario. And the contrast of him against the bike, I think, looks very good. 200cc, because we're not babies. Let's do hard computers this time. I want a little bit of a challenge. Okay, 40 tracks all in order. Starting with the first DLC track. Everybody get your stopwatches ready. And let's begin. <laughs> You're like me trying to be serious with, with my friends? Are you saying that I'm your guys' friends? Um, the first ever DLC track, Paris Promenade. I was so excited when the DLC initially came out, dude. I was itching for more Mario Kart. I probably will be a bit more biased to, like, the older DLC tracks, just because I've played them more. Okay, I don't know why I went this way. I should have gone for the boost pad. Is this Georgia CC? This feels so slow. They should make, like, 500 CC for the fans. Oh yeah, let's actually talk about the level. I think this is when they first start introducing the non-looping. Like, this looks like a loop, right? But then that throws you for a loop at the end of this lap. <laughs> the music is very fun. I think... I don't know, this city track seems easier to navigate. I d I'm unsure why. I think it's because the buildings... I think it's because they're all the same color. It's a lot easier to tell what's road and what's not. But like, it's also a similar color to the road, so I don't know. I think it's because this was like the first city track, so I was like, oh, I'm kind of vibing. But then like, when the later DLCs were just all ports of the tour tracks, it became kind of an M. Not me wishing for a mushroom and not getting it. Wait, round about the start. I'm surprised it didn't cook me. First place, easy. Okay. Let's break it down. Paris Promenade. It adds. Okay, so the tier list today, all the tracks are in ABC order this time, though it's easier to find. So just because it's not on screen doesn't mean it's not on the list. It's just cropped. Okay, Paris Promenade. In terms of a city track, it's very good. But, like, I think the music really saves it. Visually, it's not very interesting because the road is, like, almost the same color as the buildings. But I definitely think it's one of the least confusing city tracks because the way it loops, lap one and lap two are basically the same. And then lap three is doing it backwards, essentially. So it's not- oops. It's really not as confusing. So I think Paris Promenade, in comparison to other city tracks, is like very good. But standalone, it's decent, but I'm gonna put it at very good because I know the other tracks are gonna like get worse. <laughs> This track is okay, I don't like how the sun hits the car. Oh, I never noticed that, honestly. Whenever I play Mario Kart, I don't necessarily look at my character. I always look at the peripheral more than anything. It's one of my, like, favorite games to, like, zone out on. Toad Circuit? I really like this track, but this track is so literally for babies. This is a baby track. Okay, for some reason I was convinced that this track was just a regular oval, but it's like a... It's like a... It's 
like a broken fortune cookie. <laughs> this feels like one of the shortest tracks of all time, though. And I used to hate it for that reason, but now I kind of like it. I love how there's- I think this is the only trick that has giant balloons- I think that's my banana. That has giant balloons of every character. This reminds me so much of like the Luigi circuit just because of its simplicity. Wait, is there no Luigi circuit in 8 Deluxe at all? Wait, I don't like going for that rap. To me it doesn't save time. This feels like a go-kart track. Like, it's simple, nothing crazy, just very nice, quick play. Hmm. You guys got to promise to not get mad at me for this take, okay? You guys have to promise. Toad Circuit? Is meh. It's like, it's so forgettable, it's too simple, like, it's fun to play, but like, compared to other tracks, it's like, really, really boring. I'm sorry. It's eh. Forgettable. Even if I played it a lot during like, the initial DLC, I forget about it. I see you didn't grow up with Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS. Yeah, the Wii was my first console, so like, my nostalgia is just the Wii. Too generous with the C tier? Man. You know what? I'm the only Toad Circuit hater in the chat. I remember when the DLC first came out. I think this was my second favorite track out of the first eight tracks they released. The music is very nice. Okay, this line I can never do. Why did I release the banana that was D-O-M? I like how there's a bit of variety in this track. The lines aren't too complex. This part is always scary with the boulders. It seems like with a lot of the like older Mario Kart games, the tracks themselves seem short. Hello, okay. Everything froze. <laughs> what was I talking about? Yeah, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Don't worry, don't worry. There is some lag, I see. <laughs> just, just a tad. Okay, I'm gonna verify the audio synced. We back, baby. Really bringing back the OG piece in? Okay, man. It's gotten better. I think it's because, like, since I downloaded Baldur's Gate, it literally was 150 gigabytes. So now I only have, like, 20 gigabytes left of memory on my computer. So... Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> back to it. Okay, we're back, everybody. What I've noticed in a few of like the older game levels that are ported and remade for the Switch is that they just seem simpler and shorter than like the tracks that were made for the Switch. And I think it's because with older consoles there were like limitations to what they could have in terms of environments. So it makes sense 
but then in turn, some of them are like boring. But this one I think is really good. Right here, you know, giving that little itch for the Excite Bike fans. Okay, that first turn will cook you. They put the most difficult lines in the very beginning. I usually don't drift to like complex there, I just want to get through it. Ooh, lucky! <laughs> okay, the item distribution is so much different after the new update. Like, I'm not just getting coins in first. And you know what? I love that. You know what else I love? Mario Kart. Wait, what was this track called? I can't find it. Wait, give me a second. I can find it. It's, it's Choco Mountain. There it is. I found it. I forgot what it was called. Choco Mountain! Mmm. It is one of, like, the non-city tracks in the DLC. Mmm. I'll put it at very good for now. The music is bumping. There's a little bit of... Because this has variety. Like, the actual lines, they're, like... More difficult in the start, there's the tricking at the end with the excite bike. You have to dodge some projectiles and there's a parachute. There's actually a lot in this level. So, in terms of the rubric, Chalka Mountain is very good. Not one of my favorites, but it's still like objectively a good track. You would put Chalka Mountain in S tier? What? Next race. Token of Ball. You know, I love this track before it was cool. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna be so good at this track. Not a single flaw. Okay, just the music itself, the build-up. Dude, it's so good! Objectively, I think this track is very difficult. Like, navigating through the mall itself is kind of hard. The track is very bright. And since there's some discrepancy between, like, wood flooring and then, like, that teal floor, it is kind of hard to tell where the path is. Oh my god! I do kind of miss in the weed port how the cars move differently. I know everybody was giving Nintendo slack for that, but it didn't bother me too much. Nostalgia-wise, you know, people didn't take- didn't win there. What is that do? <laughs> I'm not even doing frantic items! On the Wii version, I would always go down this path, but I think, objectively, this way is slower. Not because I messed up the line. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god, I said I would win! Don't worry, don't worry, I can catch up. I could have done a lightning bolt dodge, but I didn't! I think- okay, this part is the most difficult. Like, switching between the up and down escalators. It is always, it is always bullshit whenever they switch halfway through, though. This track is definitely a lot easier at 150, but it's for sure challenging at 200. Only real gamers can get first. Which is me, guys. Easy. Okay. Now surely you guys won't get mad at me for this. Pokemon Mall? 
best of all time. Even if I didn't play it on the Wii, objectively, it's you have to be dialed in the whole time. I love how bright the environments are. The music is bumping. This track is similar in difficulty to, in my opinion, Bowser's Neo City. It's just a little bit easier. Because for this track, you don't necessarily have to memorize the lines. Because with the Escalades, you have to like switch between the left or right path. Oh, where's my camera? <laughs> um, how long was I out for? Let me fix it. Bruh. Is Mario Kart still there? Oh, well, Mario Kart is still there. Mega Dance. Okay, camera's back. I don't know what cut out what, of what I said. But objectively, Coconut Mall is an amazing track. Um, prove me wrong. Dude, so many tech issues already? Um... Hopefully nothing bad will happen. And you know how you can prevent more bad things from happening? By following the channel. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow! You get cool emotes and... You get to type in chat. Ain't no way. Guys, if you're new here, click follow. And if you're already following, turn notifs on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Because I'm gonna probably be able to stream on weekends more. Or I'm gonna try to, rather. I'm Japanese, I'm not a weeb, but I never really liked this track. This, I think, is the first track in the DLC where it's not looping and you're overlapping over previous paths for the whole race. I remember playing this for the first time and I was so confused. <laughs> the music, I think, is the best thing in this track. Everything else is, like, not good. See, this right here was so confusing, the splitting, the Y path. Okay, honestly, the music is crazy. I haven't, like, listened to it in a while. Ooh, oh, that was a mistake. Wait, surely this will save me? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna see if I could ricochet off the wall. <laughs> I saw yellow when I got excited. No, come on! For some reason, this track feels very short. I don't know why. The ending is very fun. I like when you coast over the finish line in a parachute. I think that part is very fun. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Tokyo Blur? This is one of the first non-looping city tracks. That started the worst trend in Mario Kart history, in my opinion. It's not horrible. I definitely think it's one of the easier city tracks. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm biased because, you know, I'm Japanese. I think it's decent. It is kind of boring. Because you're just going through the cityscape. Like, in other city levels that we will play later. Like, the terrain itself changes. But this one, you're just going through the city. Which makes sense because it's Tokyo. But, like, track-wise, it's not too difficult. Like, I know where I need to go. Okay, next race. Room Ridge? More like Loom Ridge.
I'm gonna try and play this track to the, to the best of my ability. Not gonna mess around, I'm gonna genuinely play. Oh my god, this one's impossible. At 200cc. Oh, okay. Because whenever you do these turns, you can't like see over the horizon. So you can barely see the cars. It doesn't really help that like we're on the edge of a cliff as we're racing. So all I'm seeing is the edge of the mountain and not ahead of me. I'll say it now, this is one of the worst tracks of all time. It has cars. You can't see ahead because the cliff edges on both edges of the road. It is, but it is like really easy to get turbo drifts in this track. <laughs> this tunnel part is like the only easy part. And once you're back out in the open, it's just too difficult. But I'm gonna go for the skip. The skip is not there. I'll, I'll do it next time. Why did she not me? Oh my god! I swear to god these computers are stream sniping. I knew that was coming! The skip is here? Dude, I made it! I can never do it right! <gasps> Why is it taking me backwards? I remember seeing clips of that skip on Twitter and I was like, how do they do it? And then I, I just never have been able to do it myself. Ninth place? Shroom Ridge? Absolute worst of all time. No explanation. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I don't hate many things, but I hate Shroom Ridge. Moving on. Sky Garden! Wait, I never noticed that Toad House up top. I don't think anybody watches these cutscenes. <laughs> what I do really like about this track is that it's very easy to tell the actual track from the edges. Because I either have the green border or the clouds. And the track itself contrasts very nicely against the blue sky. So I think this was one of the easier tracks to memorize for me. And it's a looping track! Love that! Oh. I think you need to have a turbo boost before you go on that skip in order to do it properly. Skip here if you have a shroom. <laughs> or if you're going fast enough. Man, that red shell took forever. There's been so many times on that mushroom pad where I don't trip properly and I just fall off. Easy! I wanna try to go over the sign. Nah. Hmm. He's I too, hmm. Sky Garden? 
I would have to say it's decent. It's not super memorable. It's also fairly easy in my opinion. Design-wise, it's very easy to distinguish the road from the environments. So it's easier in that way. The music is very good. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. You guys know what I think about Ninja Hideaway. You watch this. Oh, I was trying to I was trying to trick off the pawn. I saw a streamer dude and I wanted to try it myself. In general, I think it's easier if you stay on the upper paths in Ninja Hideaway. Love the coins right there. But you don't have an opportunity to get the item boxes. So that is the only L. But it is quicker. Oh my god, please! <laughs> so fast! Oh, this turn is like near impossible to come back from. Don't turn the sky. I usually break here and don't trick on the final one. Always try and stay upper if you can, in my opinion. <laughs> For the longest time, I even forgot this was a path. Okay, I'm gonna go lower just so we can see the other properties we can take. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, because if you go down this lower path, you get kind of cooked by the ninja stars. But you do get an opportunity to get item boxes, and that can get you back ahead. This track is pretty cool, to be honest. I agree, but it's just so confusing. Like, my first few times playing it, there's just so many pads. It's very difficult to, like, know which way I should go. Easy, first place. Honestly, I did better than I thought I did. Usually, I'm, like, horrible at this track. Okay, Vengeance, I know you're joking, but don't make jokes like that. Don't make I will find you jokes. Not cool. Otherwise, hi, Vengeance. Can we get some yo's? Where is it? Ninja Hideaway? If you would have asked me a year ago, I would have said meh. But now that I kind of know how to play it, like stay on the upper pads, I would say it's decent. Objectively, it's a very good track. All the different tr paths you can take. There's so much variety. The parachuting can drastically change like how you will cross the finish line. But for me, it's not my favorite, so I'm gonna have to say decent. It's decent. It's a good S tier for me because it's challenging and the scenery is dynamic. I agree, I just don't like it. Because it's too challenging. New York Minute? I wanna go to New York. Spending Christmas in New York. <laughs> I 
Donkey Kong the best musical? I would see it. I love how chill the music is in this track for the most part. It's fairly refreshing. Oh, I didn't crash. Another non-looping track? I think when I was first learning this track, this was one of the more confusing ones. Because the arrows, you don't see them in time to change course and direction. Going in the air? It is nice how the bus has a ramp. I like that. Oh my god, I almost- <laughs> I did not myself! Good one. The graphics on this one are pretty bad. I think they're cute, because they look like toys. This part at the end with the magic carpet, not magic, but the red carpet was always surprising me. It seems so like, out of place. Because isn't the red carpet in California? I think it's kind of forgettable. Mm, actually, I think it's meh. I don't think it's good. It's very difficult to distinguish like where I need to go because since the buildings are so tall I can't see ahead. On the non-looping parts where the arrows tell you which way to turn left or right, you don't see them soon enough. So in order to be good at this track, you have to memorize it. So therefore, it's like not really fun when you first play it. Because to me, a track is fun is if you play it once or twice and you immediately enjoy it. This one I did not really enjoy. So I, I think it's one of the worst city tracks. I don't like this track. It's- it's way too difficult. I'll talk about why in a second. I think this is one of the first few DLC tracks where they don't use like natural lighting. Cause there's- there seems to be like a very slight orange hue on the characters in this track. Because it's during sunset. This turn right here, the bane of my existence. Okay, I don't know why I went here. That was silly. I do appreciate how it's a regular looping track. The thing that makes this track really difficult is that since it's purely flat, you can't- you literally can't see what lines are approaching you. Cause if it was like on a cliffside or a hill, you can maybe look up and see what's ahead, but since everything is flat... Even looking at the road that's probably like 50 feet in front of you is hard to see. Wait, now I can do the skip? Easy! Yo! Perfect! I do love how on the outer edges, it's like a regular platformer level, because it has like the wooden blocks. Oh, come on! Dude, nailed it! I've gotten so much better at that turn. I used to throw every single time. Okay, also the O spells they put just randomly, nobody goes in that part of the track. I think they only put the Orospas there to cook you if you're already, like, spiraling off the road. Like, one final, like, screw you to the player. You don't hate this track, but you like it. 
I kind of agree with that sentiment. I used, I, if you would have asked me like six months ago, I would have said the worst. But I think, uh, um, um, I'm debating. I don't know. I think if there was more like a terrain difference, like different elevation, I would say decent. But this track is just too flat. I think it's the only track that is flat in this game. Like having a flat track like this would make sense for like an older game, but since you have so much capability with a 3D game console, I think they could have done more with it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a gamer. Um. <laughs> um. Calamari Desert. Isn't that octopus? Or is this a place? I don't get the name. I'm also really bad at geography. This track is giving Looney Tunes. <laughs> I just wanted to hit him. Oh, I just noticed the shadow on the ground from my cart. Like, the lighting of this track is interesting because it's like dusk and you can like very s easily see my heart shadow okay I'm throwing dude come on thankfully we haven't seen too many trees or not trees trains why do I say trees okay this part is the scariest going through the tunnel you're guaranteed to hit a train Also, the animation of you hitting the train is just hilarious to me. You know, why did Nintendo think it was a good idea to make a track on a literal train track? You know, I'm triggered. Come on! Easy! That's what you get for trying to beat me. Calamari Desert? I think this track in itself is very unique. But it's also very anxiety inducing because you gotta avoid the train. You don't know when it's coming. I would say it's decent. The lighting is really interesting. Visually, all the colors are very similar. So I kind of don't like that aspect. In terms of like actual lines... I, I don't think I have this track fully memorized yet. And I think it's because it's pretty straightforward that you just follow the tracks. Because there's no buildings, there's nothing really in the background, it's just dirt. It's Ite. Loves gambling. Type one. My dad used to collect pinball machines, so this track has always been fun to me. The music is very nice. Oh, this line is very difficult, though. Dude, I'm just getting so good at snapping. 
Oh, for the longest time, I had no clue there was two double item boxes there. And I always wondered how people got so far ahead. I like just holding one single drift in that section. It's probably not like the best way to get a turbo, but I just think it's fun. And it's a regular looping track. Love that for us. Design-wise, this track is nice, because going through that, um, cannon section, it's kind of like you're the pinball being shot into the machine. It seems like there's so much intent with this level's design. And you have to be dialed on the whole time. Okay, my lines are for sure not perfect. But, oh, okay, um, but it requires a lot of concentration. Okay, I'm gonna do this lap absolutely perfect. Come on! That doesn't count. get the double item box this time. No, I lied. <laughs> okay, it is kind of BS how the pinballs can collect the items too. That genuinely is so annoying. Ah, this track is so good. Genuinely, it's so good. Waluigi Pinball, it's really good. It's super memorable. The design aspect is really unique. It's very challenging to be good at. But it's built for an inside drift build, so I love it. Waluigi Pinball, best of all time. So good. Hi, Go Bobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. Next race. <laughs> Sydney Sprint. For some reason, for the longest time, I thought this level was called Sydney Sprint. No, Spirit. I thought it was called Sydney Spirit. And I do not have dyslexia, I would like to clarify. I just can't read. <laughs> Dude, I love the tile on this track. The orange is so pretty. And I love how we're going through like an amusement park. It's so interesting. I really like whenever there's moving parts in the background. Dude, and the trumpet, I got so into it, I ran into the wall. The first time I played this track, I loved it. It's so much fun. We get to see the shoreline, the pier. Okay, that is the most difficult part. I'll be honest. For those excited by fans, here we go. It just seems like they fit so much in this track. Easy. Subway? They have public transportation? So lucky. Oh wait, 
the, I'm okay. It just occurred to me we're doing the beginning backwards. Wait, I literally just realized that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sydney Sprint? No. It, uh, it's not best of all time. But I think it's at the top of very good. I love it. I think it's one of the better city tracks. There's so much variety in terrain. It's very obvious where I need to go. Because anytime there's like the red arrow turn... You can see it like 50 feet in advance before you actually need to turn. And I think all or the majority of the turns in the section were like Y's. So it's not like it would have been like like a perpendicular shape. It was always a Y. So it's very clear before I needed to turn, I kind of knew if I had to go left or right. Versus if it was like a perpendicular where I go straight or like make a hard right. So I think... The use of red arrows in this track were very forgiving and actually integrated very well. Snowland! Objectively, I think this is one of the prettier tracks. I like when non-traditional road environments are used. Like, this is ice. It's all snow. All the toads are in their little jackets. Even if the lines themselves in this track are very simple, the music and the environment is so fitting. Cohesively, this is a really nice level. And even if this level is remotely flat, there is some changes with slight declines and inclines where I can see the level ahead of me. This is kind of the terrain I would want for that Mario Circuit 3 level, where it's not completely flat. And the added obstacle of dodging the penguins? Okay, there was no notification for that. I like how the penguins don't necessarily have a pattern of how they move. So you have to pay attention. You can't just memorize where they will be. Hmm. Wrong scene. <laughs> you guys saw the mouse cam. Have you ever won Mario Odyssey? Um, I beat the main story. I was trying to do a 100% run, but then I quit. I got like, I think 700 moons? Because there's 999. Okay. No land. Cohesively, everything in the track makes sense. Even if it's simplistic, I think it's good. But when compared to other tracks, it's just decent. It is kind of forgettable. But for a simpler track, I think it's executed well. So it is decent, it's B. And you know what else you guys can do well? Subscribing and be a well chatter. Because guys, <laughs> we're an hour in this stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, 
until January 2nd. All new tier 1s, recurring subs, and gifted subs are 25% off. So guys, today is the day to subscribe. Do it. There's so many tracks. Yeah, there's 96 in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There's so much content. But then I wish there was more. Why didn't we get Toad's Factory? Mushroom Gorge. Definitely one of my top three tracks ever when I played on the Wii. It's so good. Now that I think about it, I don't. I literally have never gone to the left. I usually go for the mushroom pads. Okay, I think the safest path. If you don't get hit by a piranha plant, is to go down the center, because whenever you bounce on that blue mushroom, you get a parachute. Jerk. I'm gonna try to go down left. I never go this way. Whoa, it's so fast. Isn't it like objectively faster though? It looks like you could get have a greater chance of like getting items though. Parachute is the best way, because whenever you trick on the mushrooms, it's not super predictable. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Look, he got boomeranged and blue shelled. <laughs> This track is objectively really fun. Bouncing on the pads is always super unpredictable. Even if it's not cool, it's still relatively fun. There's so many different paths you- There's so many different paths you can take. You kinda need to have like full momentum in order to do the pads well. Mushroom Gorge, everybody! Hmm... I think it's- Oh, is it better than Sydney Sprint, though? I think Mushroom Gorge is a very good track. It is very good. There's so much- Even if the track itself is kind of simplistic, you can take different paths with the mushroom pads, also, it can be frustrating, but I think it's also fun with the difficulty aspect of bouncing on the pads. It is a very good track. I like it a lot. You got COVID? Damn. Mom, stay inside. I'm sorry. I think I've yet to get COVID-19. I've gotten all my boosters, though, so guys, make sure you get boosters. There's a new one out for holiday. And get your flu boosters as well. You got it from your grandparents? Damn. I mean, everybody gets sick this time of year. That's why, like, before you hang out with family or friends, make sure you're not symptomatic at all. 
and ask your whoever you hang out with if they're symptomatic as well. Like, you don't want to show up to their house and they're sick. You know, it's their L, but... Humidity spread is... the... fastest way that disease of any kind can spread. Anyways, Sunday... Whatever this is called. I have no clue what this one is called. F tier? No way! Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I usually try to stay in the upper pads. This track feels so much like Excite Bike. There's so many different ramps to trick off of. And I don't hate it. But wait, this track is literally just an oval. You also hate this track? Really? It's not horrible. This does look like a little tween, like, throw up and design this track. It's so colorful. You know what? If they did, like, a Baskin Robbins collab, that would be crazy. Wait, wasn't there, like, a Cold Stone Mario? Wait, they have, like, a Nintendo collection, I think, for Kirby. I didn't try it, because, like, I didn't like the flavor combos they had. Okay, going to the left was silly. Why was there an H on the ground? Oh, fire the boom box! <laughs> Another one? This is yesterday with the three blue shells all over again. Hit me! Okay. <laughs> Since I made the connection that this track, Sky High Sunday, is just Excite Bike, I can't unsee it now. It's literally an oval track with some divergence and pads. But there's so many spots where you trick, it's just like Excite Bike. It's meh. It's meh. I know what Nintendo was trying to do with the theme. The theme itself is fun, but. Not the best IMO. You know what, this track already has two L's in its name, and I agree with that. Just looking at the map, this is what happens when you let a little third grader tie their shoes. The map is such a mess. I genuinely think this is one of the more frustrating city tracks. That was almost perfect. Okay, that was only one lap. This track seems like it goes on forever. Whenever I play this online, it seems like this track will never end. But I guess it's easy to get lost in London. <laughs> Let's see how. Okay, the telephone boots are so tall. Why are they so tall? It's almost like we're miniatures. Oh, for some reason I thought I had to turn left. Oh no, I lost it. Okay, this turn is really weird for like no reason. I don't like 
like the rock music as much. It doesn't seem fitting for London. For London, you know? Easy. London Loop? It is very difficult to see ahead. I like the Chain Chomps, those are fun. But they're like too easy to dodge. I wish the roads where the Chain Chomps were like were slightly skinnier. That way it was a bit more of a challenge. I don't like the music, it's meh. I think London Loop is like one of the worst city tracks. I think it's also because the environments are very warm in color. A lot of the things in the background, like the benches and the telephone boots, are red. So the actual red arrows to tell me to turn left or right don't really stand out, and I think that really hurts it. Not good. I'll still play it, but I'll never pick it. Will I be streaming on New Year's? Probably. I don't know what the plan for next week is, though, so follow my Twitter. Boo Lake! I know a lot of you guys like this track, but I don't. It's scary. Even the music is scary. Oh, come on! I wanna do no mistakes! Wait, I actually did it. I didn't run into a single wall. This, objectively, I think is like one of the most difficult tracks in the whole game. Just because there's so many like really weird, tight U-shaped turns. This track is like impossible in online. Because since the paths themselves are kind of skinny, it's very easy to to get rammed off or just fall off. But I can see this. If you like this track, then you're gonna love it. This track, I'm, ba I'm basically just breaking the whole time. This track just gives me anxiety. Like, it looks like it's gonna fall apart. It's like that one rickety roller coaster they have at your local fair that's made out of wood that they assemble every year and you're scared it's just gonna break on site. Okay, I didn't play too bad, Boo Lake. Uh, you know what? I don't need to impress you guys, it's decent. The environment itself is like not too complex, but the lines are like too difficult. The music is scary, the level is scary, ambience wise, it does what it's intended to do. But it's too hard! I don't like it! It's too challenging. I'm not a gamer. I think I'm biased because I beat Tanuki on this map one time. You know, I'm like that too. I will remember specific races and it does form my bias. Rock, Rock Mountain. This track is so much fun. You go like underground here in the caves, you get lung cancer, and then you're back in the light. This is another track that has like rock music, but this is like more upbeat. I like it. The parachutes, you can go over or under the logs. And then 
what's fun is you can just coast over like most everything here. Oops, I, I could have used the horn. There's so much varied terrain in this track. And you almost notice something new every time you play. Look, there's an eagle soaring. There's toads on top of those logs. And it's cool because with parachutes you can choose to like post over a big chunk of the level. Wait, how did those toads get on top of the cliff? How are they gonna get down? Bomb clip. Um, bomb shell dodge or something? I don't know what it's called. That's like, I've done that three times today and yesterday combined. I'm so good. Rock Rock Mountain? I like it a lot. It's so good. It's so much fun. I like how there's so much different change in elevation throughout. Even if you can't really see far ahead, it's the first few times playing it, you discover so much and it's genuinely like really fun to play. You go like underground, you go inside the mountain. You go through the woods and then you go up the mountain again. It's so like cohesively, it makes so much sense. It's a very good level. so nice. The visual of going through the leaves. Now I have no clue how they built this track like on the branches of the tree. Like how did they do this? The wigglers seem less annoying in this version over the Wii. The one thing I think this was when- yeah, I think this is the first level that they ported to the Switch, where it has the high pipe mechanic. It makes no sense to go on the half pipe, it just ruins your momentum. It's literally- it's literally not worth it. <laughs> the blue shell hit them when they were in the cannon. Objectively, I think this track is very difficult. This turn right here is super difficult. You have to break the whole time, basically. But, like, going on the half pipe doesn't. You lose time going on the half pipe there. Difficult. With or without the half pipe, it's 
It's so hard to make that turn. I think it's better to go down the center, that way you can trick on those two roots. I know for me, there's like a big nostalgia with Maple Treeway playing it on the Wii. Using the... The... The stick controls is far easier than doing tilt. Maple Treeway, I think, is a very good level. The music is nice. It's a good level of difficulty. There's only two really difficult turns in this level, but the rest of it is pretty chill. I think it's pretty good. This is not a level that you can forget. It's very memorable. makes me think I'm playing the London track. Like, if you put these side by side, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Like, just looking at the backgrounds. And this one is a road track. Why are there cars? I understand we're going through the city, but I really don't want to be driving with the cars. Wait, they got public transit? Ain't no way. Okay, going there is, like, dumb. It's <laughs> such a bad idea. Also, the split path is really confusing to me. Why? <gasps> Come on, go! Wait, in a wait second. Nice how there's that edge of the sidewalk. That way I don't go in the grass. I just run onto the wall. But then it just kills all your momentum. Because it is really difficult to dodge the cars in this track. track is also so long. Okay, it's really cool how you can trick on the thwomps. For the thwomps. This part, like, where did this come from? So confusing. The roundabouts? The music sounds like a montage you'd see in a movie of somebody like frantically shopping at the mall during Christmas. Hmm. Berlin Byways? It's so forgettable. But I think it's better than London Loop. Like, looking at the thumbnails, they look so similar. It's not good. Peach Gardens. Oh, 
The music in this track is such a vibe. Roundabout with the Piranha Plant Classic. Start is so weird. Like, Pat, what path would look like that in real life? <laughs> Nami dunking IRL. <laughs> best lap in my opinion we go left we basically do it all backwards where you can just fly over everything. Wait, why don't I have a topiary? It was Peach and Luigi. Oh, no! <laughs> Man, dodge like a pro! <laughs> I'm correct! Peaches Gardens? It's not as good as I remember. It's decent. Like, objectively on its own, it's a good track, but when compared to others, it's aint. It's not meh, but it's decent, for sure. The music saves it. I think the final lap really hard carries. The final lap is the best lap. You know who else can hard carry? People who follow the channel. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in a stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. We just hit 800 followers. That was my goal for the year. Let's go. And if you're already following, turn notifs on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Moving on. Next race. Mary Mountain. I like the terrain on this track, like the beginning with the rainbow cobblestone. I am kind of confused why they gave us a train and not like Santa's sleigh. You know, I don't think they wanted to be woke. Oh no, they wanted to look. They didn't want to have Santa. <laughs> the half pipes on the left there are so silly. Why would you go for them? And also, the train drops coins. The lines in this so the lines in this track are very simple though. Ooh, there's a second ramp. I never do that. Okay. 
this track is very pretty, but like, not the most fun to play. It seems like all the tracks that are like original to the Switch have like a very strict theme. Like they have the Christmas one, the bathtub one, the ice cream one. It's like just give me a Mario one that's normal. Mary Mountain is like the lines itself, the actual map is very reminiscent of like a Mario Circuit track. It's so easy. You can't do like any too complex drifts. There's no too tight of turns. I think Mary Mountain is eh. It's very forgettable. They tried, but it's not really good. This looks like one you'd see in an arcade. Or like in the Mario movie. Saved it. Okay, th that's the only mushroom in the whole level, and it seems so out of place. I have no clue why I threw that red. Oh, there's so much change in terrain on this level. I think we're on the rings of a planet right now. And it's so cool because, like, the track loops around, like, different planets in the galaxy moons as well. It's so interesting. Now we're on the moon? You know, I'm surprised I haven't fallen off yet. And then the final lap is just a straight shot. I love whenever you get the parachute in that final section. Whole track perfectly. Oh my god. Maybe I'm like good at Mario Kart. Rainbow Road for the 3DS. I'm gonna put it at S tier for now. I think it's the best Rainbow Road that they've ported to the Switch. It's not insanely difficult, but it's not easy. Like the first two laps, like you have to have really good control with your drifting and your turns. I like how there's no railings, so you kind of have to be dialed in the whole time. There's so much change in terrain. You're literally racing through the galaxy. It's a really good track. One of the best of all time for me as of this moment. Dude, I have a clip that I had to edit out. When I did the blend react to this DLC wave that Drift was in, and I dead ass said, Oh my god, Amsterdam? Is that London? Clueless! You guys will never find the VOD. Wait, I just told you what VOD it's in. 
You'll never find it. Man, public transportation ain't no way. Look, we're, we're in the countryside. We're on a boat. And then... Wait. We go underwater soon, I know. And then we go in the water? This track is amazing. There's so much change in terrain. Like, I have no idea where we're going next. We're going through every part of, like, this the country almost, like, in terms of, like, environment. Oh, that was a mistake. It's not looping. But, like, it's fairly clear where I need to go the whole time. Oh, besides here. This is, like, one of the most BS turns in the whole game. This really sharp U-turn. And then you hop out of the water to the tulips. So pretty. I love this track a lot. I think I've come to the conclusion, I like a city track if you're not going just through the city. Like, looking at all the city tracks that I have near at the top, the only one that doesn't have a change in terrain is Paris Promenade. I think Amsterdam is a really good track. For a city track, it's really good. The environment makes sense. You go underwater. It's actually, like, also really fun to play, too. Lines aren't too complex. It's a good medium difficulty, but it's still very fun. I think that was the 24th track, so we're halfway through. Dude, imagine doing this all in one stream. It would be, like, literally an eight-hour stream. They're so weird looking, but I like them. They're cute. I like when there's movable... I like when there's moving obstacles in a track. And then going through the waterfall, how oh, epic. This track is also very short. I do wish this track was a tad longer. The turns aren't too difficult, they're good, like, medium difficulty. would be like if you hit the walking piranha plants with an item if they drop like mushrooms or something i think that would be cool easy riverside park i think it's decent I think it's pretty solid for what it is. It's very quick, but it's not like forgettable in my opinion. I also like how you go through the waterfall at the very end. It's like very unexpected. Like the first time playing it, I think I was like more shocked. I was like, oh, I did not see this happening. 
It said Riverside, not Waterfall sign. DK Summit, a classic! There's so many like half pipe edges on this track. They don't really give you too much a boost anymore for the switch port. So they're like pointless. They're disadvantageous for the most part. This turn is very difficult for like no bare reason. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like bad at half pipes. Annoying where you can just land right in front of the deep snow. If you have trouble with this turn, like if you can't do a hard left, I recommend going down that. I recommend going down that half five. It makes the turn a bit easier. <laughs> to get a double digits again. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. If you can't make this hard left turn, go for the half pipe. That way you can do like a slightly wider turn. It'll make it a lot easier. Yes, that's right. I am number one. DK Summit is not as good as I remember. The switch port kind of ruined any level that has a half pipe in my opinion. This track is very difficult with tilt controls. But with the regular stick on a controller, it's not that bad. I would say nostalgia helps, but not really. It's just decent. Yoshi's Island is beautiful. There's so much intent and thought with the level design. I was like stunned the first time I played this. There's also like so many like different characters in the background too. I have no clue why we go underwater. And the coins to make a different sound. Ah, it's so good. We're in the clouds. We're going through the whole stratosphere. Wow, 
thought I'd do that. Forward. Those tulips in the back, they look 2D <laughs> the way they shape. There's just so much detail in the background. Also so much texture in the terrain as well. Cave, you can see the monster peeking through the side of it. Oh, I didn't get it at all, but like, if you hit that mystery box for the mystery cloud, a second path will spawn. Oh, come on! Oh, it's such a good level. And the music? This is actually the music I use in the outro of my YouTube videos now. Yoshi's Island? One of the best of all time. It's a very fun track to play. The lines themselves aren't difficult, but whenever you play, you're just taking in the environment. It's such a good level. Cohesively, one of the best. It's tier for real on God on God. So good. The boat part is very difficult at the start. I'm gonna try to go for an upper path. I usually don't do. <laughs> I like how we go through like different parts within the city in Bangkok Rush. Like we're going through the little flea markets. We went in the water at the start. There's a little shortcut there to cut the corner. Oh dear. This part is so fun going through the buildings and the arches. Cut the corner? Yes, sir. I definitely think this is one of the more interesting city tracks. There's so many changes in elevation, we're not just like going through like the downtown area where it's one elevation. We're in this corridor. This corridor is very difficult. <laughs> it took me a long time to learn it. so much fun. I never get bored playing this track. It's definitely a really good city track. Bangkok Rush? Very good. I'll put it at the top. I think it's the best city track in the whole DLC. It's very good.
I love the 2D audience members. It's so good that they incorporated that little detail. Oh, why'd I drift that way? I definitely think this is one of the better Mario circuits. Like, it doesn't feel like we're on a racetrack for the majority of it. Like, we're... The audience is here at the start, but then we're going through the forest, through the woods. This final turn is surprisingly really difficult, though. I also just like to picture, like, the audience members. They're cheering at the start, and they just hope for the best as we're going through the woods. Hoping that we don't get attacked by... The Wiggler will show up last lap, I forgot. And also, I also like to imagine that, like, Peach just has, like, a racetrack in her backyard. You know, if Mario's gonna move in, he demanded it. Aesthetically, this track... I really like to, because it feels like we're a toy, the way everything's lit and shaded. The proportions. Everything is really soft and round. There's Wiggler! Because <laughs> I was too fast for him. <laughs> Mario's circuit on the DS? I'm torn between very good and decent. I think it's very good for a Mario circuit track because it's a bit more difficult. It's not too baby. But it's also like kind of forgettable. Like compared to other Mario circuits, it's really good. But on its own, it's just decent. It's just decent. Now this is one of the GOATs, Waluigi's Stadium. League's better than Wario's Stadium, I'll say it. Okay, I ruined my drift at the start. There's a half pipe at the very beginning, makes no sense. I, I rarely go for the half pipes in this section. I think it's better to just go straight. Even if I can go on the upper path, it's a bit too difficult to land on it. Ah, I almost had it. See, it's like not really worth the risk. Like, you have to practice it a lot in order to justify trying for it. The fire pinwheels? I wish they moved a bit faster. They're like a bit too forgiving. They're not like a scary obstacle. The music in this track? So good. I think I'm gonna go on the half pipe for fun, just to see how it is. Okay, I guess it makes the turn here to land on that section a bit easier. but you probably lose time. <laughs> Oopsie. Yahoo! 
Easy. Let's see. Waluigi Stadium? Hmm. I'll put it at the top of pretty good. It's not my favorite. It is a very, very good track, though. It feels like you're in a Wipeout show. And I kind of like that. But it's not my favorite. I bet once I learn how to get on those upper zero gravity parts, then I'll like it more. But for now, it's up there, but not my favorite. You know who... <laughs> You know who could be my favorite, though? The people who subscribe. Because, guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Also, until January 2nd, all new Tier 1s, resubs, and... Gifted subs are 25% off, so today is the day to subscribe. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Back to it. I'm just enjoying the cutscenes because I usually just skip them. I love the music in this drag. Here comes the drum! When I get my mansion, I'll invite you guys all to my infinity pool, don't worry. love the change in terrain also the lighting shift as well we're going from like bright neon to like warm oranges and this part up ahead was so unexpected to me like the forward and backward boost pads it seems so out of place for a city but i really like it it reminds me of those like, moving floors you see at the airport? <gasps> oh, okay, what are you doing? Oh, I've never flown off here. Usually I just parachute over here. I also like how blocky the city is. Like, there's not too many, like, round paths. Like, the roads seem very straight edge. I think Sp Singapore Speedway is a really good city track. It's also very fun to play. The lighting shifts throughout. The actual lines are a bit more interesting because they seem like more straight and jagged than curved like a lot of the other city tracks are. I really like it.
This turn right here at the start is so mean. Do we like a Batman 90 degree turn? Wait, skip? I missed it. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it doesn't save you too much time. This part right here where you like fall into the arena is so weird. I don't get it. I like how there's like a change in terrain throughout, like you're going through different arenas, that's very fun. But the environment, the road is so similar in color where this track just looks very boring. It's not like visually inviting. What happened? I'm so dumb what I spit out. And we're back at start. I literally never go for the half pipes. It's like, why even bother? Wait, wait! Wait, let me go backwards. I never saw this! Okay, wait, I literally have never seen that side path. It's so hidden, because I think it was like a dark cave entrance. I'll have to try that some other day. Huh. You learn something new every day, guys. Athens Dash? It's very forgettable. Even though I just learned about, like, a possible skip at the end. It's really boring. I get, like, the whole environment makes sense, but it's very drab. The only fun part is doing, like, the skip at the very beginning. Otherwise, it's... Eh. Meh. I don't like how we're met with a roundabout right at the start. It makes me anxious because I don't know which path is better. I think left is better, but right, I always go right because right is right. <laughs> I did not remember it. I do not remember it being so difficult. I think it's a track that you can play better if you have an inside your bike. But these lines in these turns, they're like almost too sudden that you have to change direction. Yeah, let's go underwater. Why do they make an underwater port? Kind of weird. But when you go underwater, you skip that whole, like, weird turn section below deck, so it makes it a tad easier. But, like, it makes no sense. Why do they have, like, an underwater snorkeling room? Like, huh? I would love to go on a cruise, though. Thing. Screw you, Koopa. Easy. I didn't do too bad racing this one, but personally, Daisy Cruiser? That guys might actually cancel me. It's meh. I don't like it. 
it's like way too difficult. The track seems like too cramped almost. Which makes sense because we're on like a tiny cruise boat. Visually it's interesting. I like how there's little details of how like the tables will slide as the boat rocks. But it's not fun. I don't know. I think it's because like you know what the gimmick is when you start so it's not a surprise of what you see happen in the level. I just don't like it. Cancel me. Hashtag cancel peace in. I got Grandma Wander. back to it. We got a handful more tracks left. Moonview Highway for the Wii. Now nostalgia will play a factor in my ranking. Dude, the music from the start? It's anxiety inducing, but it makes sense because you know we're going with and against the flow of traffic in this level. Which I think is better. Because I think in all the other city tracks, you're going with the flow of traffic. I also like this level because it's relatively short for the. For a highway track. So you know it gets it over with quicker. There's a side path up top. And I missed the item boxes pop. I remember playing this on the Wii and I'd always fall off on that section on the left because there's no railing. Like the switchboard it definitely makes it a lot easier. The reason why this level feels faster is probably because there's booze pads. I don't think the other highway tracks have a similar mechanic. Easy! It'd be cool if we went through that toll section and took away like two coins or something. And then if you had no money, they would just like arrest you on site. <laughs> Moonview Highway. Very difficult on the Wii, but I, I really enjoy the switchboard. Especially considering since it's a level where there's cars but I think since it's like on the highway the track is like wider like there's four or six lanes so it's not like I have to weave between two rows of cars I have to weave between like four or six but there's also less cars in the road and I think that's a big factor why this um, highway track is a lot easier than the other tracks that have cars in them I would say Moonview Highway is high decent it's not pretty good because it's still like a car track, but it's good for what it is. It's a bay. The first time I saw this level, 
He's like, out of all the different themes, why go with this? You know what I mean? Are they trying to, like, teach the kids hygiene? I, I guess kids sting, but this is, like, too on the nose. toothbrushes in the tub? Ew! In the visual of, like, going through the drain, like, is that poop? <laughs> this level is just so silly. You know, we went through the gardens, we went through a mountain, and now we're going through a bathroom. Design-wise, this is very interesting, though. Like, there's so many different assets in the background. It's, you can probably find something new every time. This fan is annoying, though. Like, why is that there? Wait, pause. The bidet. I missed the skip. If you hit the bidet just right, you can get on an upper path. And it'll save you like a second. Also, the clock at the very beginning still said 10-10 the whole time. I think it's broken. Okay, watch this. Oh my god, I made it! And you get to parachute over the end. And there's like a separate like banner. A bit higher up. Squeaky's clean sprint? Since it's a, a new track, you gotta give it a little bit more grace. Give it top tier? I don't have to listen to you. No. It's not an S. It's not. I'm debating between, like, pretty good and decent. Because, like, design-wise, it's really interesting, but it's also, like, really we It's a weird theme for them to choose. It's not incredibly difficult. Like, there's a lot of sections where you just coast and drive. The only hard part is the final section. Like, trying to get the bidet skip or the final line, because, like, it's this really sharp turn. I would say high decent. It's not too memorable. I would like it if it were a bit more difficult. I don't like being babied. Okay, next! Los Angeles laps? More like Los Langolas laps. This one is so bad. Look, they're fracking! I've never been to LA, and I don't want to go to LA. No, like, maybe, like, one time. Okay, having a skate park is kind of wicked. Makes me feel like I'm hip with the kids. Stadium was just called Stadium. They could have gotten like a Comcast sponsor or something. For some reason, 
I feel like I can- there's like a side path left, but there's not because he's barricaded. But it's not like very clearly lit. This part here is so random, like... Why? Why is there this part? I've never gone this way. Easy! Yeah, that was so bad. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going too fast! <laughs> Oh my god, 11th? Bruh. Los Angeles laughs more like Los Langos laughs. I don't like it. It would have been fine if they didn't have like the fracking part at the end. Like, why is that there? Is that supposed to show that LA just has such bad infrastructure? Is that like the commentary? Because that's just all of America, man. I don't like it. You know, I didn't see like an influencer cheering me on in the background. That would have saved it, but they didn't have it. The lighting on this track is beautiful. It has that same orange glow, the lens flare. So artsy. The music, the trumpets, holy moly. Having to dodge the shy guys is a good obstacle. The lines on this one aren't incredibly difficult. But once you're like in the middle section when there's more characters, it is very it can get difficult trying to dodge everybody. Because you have to avoid these oil spills and the shy guys. I think this track is a good mixture of skill and then also RNG can put you back as well. <laughs> Oopsie. Two times speed is crazy at the end. It's kind of like the people who played instruments on the Titanic and they're just playing something more quickly as it sinks. That's what I pictured the first time I heard it sped up. Sunset Wilds? Sunset Wilds. Even though it's fairly simple, as a track cohesively, I think it's pretty good. I like it a lot. The music hard carries, though, I'll admit. I'll admit. I really like it. Hi, hacker. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Sunset Wilds doesn't have a sunset anymore? What? Oh wait, doesn't it like get darker in the original or something? Bye. 
Everything should be dropped down the C tier? Hey, this is my list. If you want to make your own, I'll put the link in the... Whenever I edit this to YouTube, I'll post a link to the tier list I made. favorite tracks on the Wii of all time. Okay, I'm throwing. Don't worry, I'm gonna Mario Kart. This Water Rapids part was always really fun. I think you do go a tad faster. The tunnel sound? Yeah, the half pipe doesn't really help. It makes like your line a bit more confusing in my opinion. This track is a difficult one, though, in my opinion. I think there's a lot of sharp turns. There's one here. I'm gonna try to go left. This seems harder to go left to take the long way. The underwater, like, tunnel section isn't as fun because the half pipes don't really help you. You just have to do, like, a really hard right turn. <laughs> okay, I'll do a half pipe here for fun. You see, like, that wastes so much time! But you get an item when you go on the half pipe? I guess, but it's, like... In my opinion, it's still not really worth. Who put the banana there? I never realized it goes silent when you go through the pipe. It gets like a little bit quieter. But then when you pop out here, it's like you've been awakened. The underwater half pipe is worth it though. Um, I don't like it. It's silly. Bah. Make your own tier list and post it on Twitter or something. Okay, let's see. Koopa Cape! I like the Wii version more, but I might be biased. I'm torn. I don't know. Because, like, I'm just thinking, like, if this was not on the Wii, if this was just, like, a regular switch track uh i'll do high decent nostalgia definitely like affects it but otherwise it's still really fun to play i like the beginning part when you're going through the rapids the pipe kind of like kills it i wish the pipe section was shorter because of that it's decent Also, you know what else is decent? Following the channel, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in a stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. If you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Can we hit our daily goal?
Why is there fire? I don't get it. Start in like the woods and the outside. Dude! <laughs> I didn't even know you could ride off this part. Wait, that's wild! The music just sounds like Christmas. A lot of. Okay, it doesn't sound like Christmas. I'm just saying that because I see trees. A lot of the city track music sounds too similar. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> I just wanted to see what the animation would look like. This parachute section seems like so out of place. Like we're just flying over a road. Like it'd be cool if there was like a cavern or something. To where like it'd be justifiable to have a parachute. Oh my god, what am I doing? tunnel there would be cars. I usually hate cars, but like, it would make sense. Dude, these computers are so mean. I'm just trying to live my life. Vancouver Velocity is so forgettable. I just realized I put like barely any in F tier. That's surprising to me. Like I was convinced that I'd put some of the city in the worst, but like they're not too bad. I, I don't think I like Velocity at all. There's nothing really redeeming about it. I kind of wish the, like, ice hockey sections were more like... Oh, what's it called? It's more like the track that has, like, the penguins, like, sliding across. And the shy guys, like, on skates. Like, having to go through the hockey game, like, a whole arena, I think would be better. Than going through a roundabout you know what i mean i i don't think there's anything good about vancouver velocity i'll say it Whoa, there's a chain shop I never saw. Him. I like the city tracks a lot more when they're at night. At night. That was so rude. Oh, there's a path to the right. I think you need a boost to go for it, though. Oh, dude, the roundabout is so stupid.
The issue with this track is that the buildings are a similar enough color, similar with the roundabouts. They're too close, so it's very hard to like tell where I need to go. The edge of the road, it does have that white and orange border. I wish the border was a bit more clear. Like, see this white and the red? That is very easy to distinguish. It'd be nice if they had it across the whole map. Not just on hard turns. The music is weak on this one. It sounds kind of whimsical. Like, it's not too hype. It's alright, but it, it doesn't get my blood pumping. Oh, I didn't realize there was water there. That never occurred to me. Oh, there are chain chomps here. Why are there chain chomps? See, I I don't even remember like key design details in this level. That shows that shows that just shows how forgettable it is. Also, why are these goop guys here? You can stay in Odyssey, please. Romo Bonte? I think another F tier. It's genuinely so forgettable. I didn't even remember there was water or chain chomps. The lighting is cute, but it's very hard to tell what is road and what is environment. It's not good. Do better, Nintendo. Thank you guys for redeeming. Calligraphy will be done at the end of stream. Don't worry. Unless... <laughs> no. <laughs> DK Mountain. I remember playing this on the Wii and I liked it so much. I'm crying, why? Um, don't cry. If you're crying, listen to the Maroon 5 song. Wipe your eyes. <laughs> And I think the volcano is really mad. Dude, I hate that line. Okay, now we're good. Back on track. Excite bike fans, there you go. The paths are really wide in the mountain section. I wish they were slightly skinnier. Because then it would make it a tad more challenging. Ooh, these turns are so sharp. And also here, listen. I like the wood when it makes the sound. It feels my need for immersion. Are there any skips in this track? I don't think there are. These boulders are annoying as frick, though. Yo! I did a perfect that time! Let's go! Oh my god, I almost fell off. I looked at the chat for like a second. <laughs> Watch this! I blew up the red shell and myself. There's a gap jump that's two turns before the bridge. Oh, I, I think I see what you're saying. I think I've tried that a few times, but I cannot do it. When I think of like skips in Mario Kart, I think like hidden paths or ramps. I don't think of like trying to break the map. There's nothing here. Is it here? <laughs> um, that's probably it. Oh, 
Oh, I just saved the guy first. You're welcome. Yeah, I think in order to make that skip, you'd have to have a shroom, right? Because there's no, like, slight incline to where I can check off of. DK Mountain. Now you guys have to promise to not get mad at me. High decent. It's a high decent. I wish the pads themselves were a bit skinnier. That way they could be a bit more challenging. I do like how it's you going up the mountain and then back down. Like cohesively it makes sense. The bridge at the end is very fun. I do like the bridge. But it's just... It's it. It's it. <laughs> I haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet, but you have to mentally prepare for it to set up. <laughs> you gotta hype yourself up for the skip. Yeah, we're getting near the end. I think we have like... Five tracks left? Daisy Circuit, look at them, they're so cute! I wonder how Daisy feels with Luigi and Peach's garden. I know, right? Why was it not Mario? I think Luigi is just a player. Okay, there is this like upper side path, but I don't really see the point in going there. Maybe to avoid other players? It doesn't seem like it's faster though. Okay, yeah, I know there's a side path when you go through that building, but you need a mushroom to cut through. This track is very short. But aesthetically, it's really cute. The music is charming. The best circuit track? I think I have to agree with that. I ruined my drift. <laughs> Don't worry, I can catch up. Did you say how? I got boomed. I got Mario carded. Daisy Circuit? It's not as good as I remember. Like it's cute, but it's kind of boring to play. Like, you're just cruising through. It's not too difficult. I'd say it's decent. But if I'm being honest, it's eh. <laughs> I think it's mid. Moving on. Piranha Plant Co. I don't understand why this one is called Piranha Plant Co. I don't think there's any piranha plants in this stage. I think they're clickbaiting. Just 
Okay, there's piranha plant, like, statues. The majority of this is underwater. Oh, wait, there's one, two. Okay, is this the only part that actually has piranha plants? I just never saw them. Awkward. <laughs> so many different changes in elevation like we're not just going straight this feels like I'm riding a roller coaster focusing because I don't have this track fully memorized yet. Okay, the eel is genuinely scary. <laughs> I know it's coming, but I always jump. If PD Piranha debuted with this track, would it have been better? Oh, definitely. It would have been more fitting. I don't get why they didn't choose that. Loki S tier, but I'm extremely biased because I like water-inspired levels. Well, you know what? Hmm. Piranha Plant Cove. For, like, a new original track, it's pretty damn good. I like how there's a lot of sections where you're going like flat and then straight up basically. There's drastic change in terrain. Even though there's only like six piranha plants. It's still very good. I think if I like played it more, I would say S tier. I think it's a high of very, very good. Because to me, S tier is something that can, like, stand the test of time. Like, are people going to remember Piranha Plant Cove in, like, five years? I don't think so. It's not iconic. But it's still pretty good. Four tracks left, everybody. The final four. Why does the city track have confetti? I don't get it. Why do they all hate the earth? <laughs> Magic the Rainbow Road in top tier? Oh um, I just like a challenge. Okay, this is my favorite part. You're going into the museum. All the different versions of Mario. So cute. You know, we need a little, little bit of culture in Mario Kart. Music is actually decent? Yeah, I really enjoy the music for this track. It's like a very nice change of pace.
I think this is one of the most interesting city tracks. You go through like a lot of different parts of the city. It's pretty straightforward where I need to go. Like I, I don't think I've ever gotten confused trying to navigate this track. And football! See, this is what I would have wanted in the Vancouver track, like just going through the whole ice hockey field. That would have been so sick. But you know what? Madrid Drive did it better. For a city track, Madrid Drive, I think it is really good. You go through different parts of the city, the music is very unique. When I was playing this for the first time, there was a lot of little surprises. The football was a grid reveal. Going to the museum was really cute. But your drive is... You've, you see little different easter eggs whenever you play. I think it's really good. Next race. I'm also biased because like I really want to go to Spain. Rosalina's Ice World. I love the little illusion. Oops. I didn't switch scenes. Lamau. <laughs> Rosalina's Ice World, everybody. Now that you can actually see it. This turn is so difficult. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Great track, I don't care. Oh, wait till you see what I have to say about it. These ice pillars are so annoying though. Like genuinely. The music slaps, I agree. The music is also calming, but also hype. It's a good in-between. Okay, I'm gonna go for a half-pipe. I'm gonna do it. That made it a tad easier, but like, not really. I think there should be more penguins on that ice section. I need more projectiles. Oh! Screw you, Toad. <laughs> I wish the ramp for the skip didn't have a snow patch on it. I wish I could just go for it, you know? I'm not, like, playing too bad on this track. Usually I throw, but, like, I'm tryharding. I think it's easier if you just go for the half pipe here. And then correct your turn! Oh, wait, there's underwater. I forgot. I love the little frost effect they have at the edge of the screen. Such a good design touch. Classic. <laughs> the way that little cliff on the right side, it seems like that's a side path, but I don't think it is. Easy. Have I done the Animal Crossing track yet? I did it yesterday. Because um, yesterday's VOD is all the first 48 tracks, and today's stream is going to be only the DLC tracks. I did it in two streams. That way it's a lot easier for people to find. Because, like, imagine skipping through a VOD that had 96 tracks in it. That would be, like, so annoying. <laughs> okay, you guys saw my hand again. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see. Rosalina's Ice World. I don't think it's S tier. I think it's definitely one of the more interesting, like, ice tracks, though. And, like, winter-themed. 
I'm gonna put it in very good. But it is, like, very memorable. Like, the first turn is so difficult, though. It turned me off from the track for, like, a long time. But I did it three times and I didn't mess up too much. I think once I have to more time to practice, then I'll enjoy it more. So for right now, it's a very good track. It's not S tier, but it's still, like, very good. Yeah, now you guys won't get mad, right? <laughs> Next race. <clears throat> Bows Castle 3 This one is so good <clears throat> Man, this music is scary. <laughs> I like how you can take different paths every time in this first section. Oh, that was DOM. DOM! Also, you look, you can see like the lava peeking through the cracks. Such a good detail. This track is so much fun. There also seems to be like a sense of urgency whenever I play. Because since there's so many like different little paths you can take, even if they take it to the same location, it makes me feel like on edge almost. But I'm not like anxious playing it. Watch this. Skitty path. I dodged the lava and then I still fell off. Oh, I wanted to get on one of the skinny pads. They're good if you need more items, but once you're this far in the lap, you kind of don't need it, in my opinion. Oh, this drag is so good! So good. <clears throat> I've played this track like so much offline just to practice it. I'm still not like good at it. But it's genuinely like so much fun to play it. Bowser Castle 3? It's one of my favorites. I think it's one of the best that has come out of the whole DLC. I think in the original 48, there's only one Bowser level. I'm surprised there's no more- or there's not more Bowser levels. Like, I was genuinely surprised that we only had one in the original and then one in the DLC. But this Bowser cast is freaking good. It's so good. Yeah, I want to look over this again. I think- No, I'll leave that. I'll leave that. I don't want to get mad yet. <laughs> Higher than Perenna Plant Cove? Yeah, the Bowser one is really good. Okay, the final track, everyone. The final track of the Booster DLC, Rainbow Road mm -hmm. on the Wii. <laughs> yes, Rainbow Road! Thank you for the resub hacker. Can we get some whackers in chat? Thank you. <laughs> we almost synced. That was so funny. Now this is gonna get major nostalgia points because I love the Wii. The track itself is so pretty. It looks like plasticky almost. I'm still trying to like figure out the best path. 
think it's going left and then right, like just like a regular figure eight. The canon graphic is so pretty. The music is so bumping. Oh my god. Hitting the walls is so annoying, like ricocheting off. It is kind of challenging that some sections have a railing and some don't. I mean, I won't fall off, don't worry. I, I don't even need the railing. I know some people will just, like try to skip here. Oh my god, wait, I did it. I always see people try to like skip that first hole. But I can never do it, besides that one time. I guess I was going fast enough. See right here? This makes sense. This is what like a half pipe should be. Like the other sections that have a half pipe don't make any sense. Oh, this is crazy at 200. No warning. Watch this. <laughs> Easy. I like how they keep a lot of like the design choices with the Wii track. Like everything is like the track looks slightly lower res. They have like the star icons. And then it has like the flaming animation when you fall off. It's genuinely so good. You know what else is so good? Um, watching ads. Because guys, I literally have to run an ad or I get in trouble. We're at three hours of time. We're past due. So if you want to see the final ranking, um, subscribe. <laughs> you can subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, gifted subs and new tier 1s are up to 25% off. So, subscribe. Erm, I did. Thank you. I appreciate it. 20 months is a long time. You're close to getting a cherry blossom badge. In 4 months. So by... Wait, on my birthday. In April. Okay. Let us rank. I think I have to zoom out. Wait, I'm, I'm just putting this here as a placeholder. There we go. Yeah, that is just so we can see what it looked like. You see how it extends down? Okay. Rainbow Road for the Wii on the Nintendo Switch. Nostalgia does play a factor, but in terms of a Rainbow Road track, I think it's difficult. It's not as difficult as the Rainbow Road that's from the 30s, but it's still up there. I think it's a really good track. It's very good. A good level of difficulty. I think this one has a lot of charm to it. Because like I said, they have a lot of similar design choices that it did to the Wii. So it's not like... They just made it for the Switch. They still kept a good handful of choices. And brought it to the Switch. I think it's very good. Okay, so let's see. Should I rearrange a little? Hmm. Surprisingly, I didn't have many tracks in the F tier. Did I move something down? I think Los Angeles Laps is bad. It's bad. Nothing really redeeming. Because to me, F tier is like something... Like, if I get this track when I'm playing online, I like get upset. 
I'm like, why are we doing this? Yeah, I think I'm like pretty solid with everything else on this list. Let's break it down. My S tiers are Coconut Mall, Waluigi Pinball, Rainbow Road for the 3DS, Yoshi's Island, and Bowser Castle 3. My F tiers, Throom Ridge, Vancouver Velocity, Rome Avanti, and Los Angeles Labs. And there we have it, everybody. My final ranking for all of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC tracks. What do you think? I'm gonna put the tier list in the description below. Fill it out for yourself. Which ones are the best DLC tracks? I mean, I think it's a general consensus that like the city tracks are just horrible. They're just like really crappy ports from the Mario Kart Tour app to the Switch. But some of the new original tracks are decent. So, um, YouTube? <laughs> this is for YouTube, not for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe now. And fill out your own tier list. And send it to me on Twitter or something. And I'll look at it. And I might comment on it. And see that you're D-O-M. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. We did all of the DLC tracks. Pretty solid. Let's look at my final ranking. I got so many points. 655. How many did I get yesterday? I wonder. I'm Mari Wonder. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today. We did our ranking. So I'm going to wrap it up here. We're going to do calligraphy and then call it a day. Mainly because my throat hurts. Because I didn't realize how much I have to talk during these ranking streams. <laughs> What's my opinion on holding doors open for people? Um, do it every time. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. It's Christmas. You know from Spongebob? <laughs> um, so guys, I'm gonna set up the second camera while I'm getting it set up. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Weekly stream highlights and clips on the Clips channel. I did upload a new video today. Click on the link, click it, and watch it whenever I end stream, okay? I'll get some other music on. Open the door for strangers too? Yeah. I open it for everybody. I'm no scrub. I just checked the bot and you got 689 points. Thank you, Wolves. I was joking, but thank you. <laughs> Dang, that means it did worse today. Man, I guess I'm cracked when I run on zero sleep, huh? Bruh. You watched the YouTube already? Really? Thank you. Um, you fell off. Guys, I'm never streaming again. And you know what? It's all Acker's fault. <laughs> Minus 44. way off okay 34 points ain't as bad no i'm not as sad i'll keep streaming hacker you're spared <clears throat> you
you guys know the drill. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is subscribe. Or use your eternal points, and I will write your name. Oh, it's frozen! What is that? Why is it frozen there? Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> I'll fix it. Yo, it's back. So, how are you guys today? You guys enjoy your holiday? Oh, does anybody have plans for New Year's? I don't. I don't have a GF to kiss. I might watch the fireworks if they're on. Because, like, I kind of live in a frou-frou area, so, like, all the richy rich people go crazy on New Year's and 4th of July. Like, dude, there are people, like, launching mortars, like, down the street from me for 4th of July. So, like, I was getting, like, flashbanged all night during 4th of July and, and New Year's last year. Hopefully they will, like, chill. Because, you know, I have a job, I stream. Sadly, I have to do notes for U.S. history. You know what you sound like? A nerd. My family kind of celebrates New Year as Christmas. I guess that makes sense. You know, two for one. I know when we were little, we would just, like, watch the fireworks on TV. Because, like, during 4th of July, it's, like, too cold to see the fireworks in person. 4th of July sucks. Yeah, I hate America. Reverse K. Kona. <laughs> oh, wait. Issa had... Shoot. I gotta reset. Okay, I tore this one out. Issa gifted five subs so they get their name in rainbow. I forgot. I forgot. I didn't mess up, I just put the wrong colors. So, in terms of, like, stream ideas, is there anything you guys would like to see in particular? Because I know the people who watch calligraphy are, like, you know, the real fans. You forgot? Yeah. What do you guys want to see in 2024? Because I do want to try and do, like, a just chatting, like, once every week or every other week. Play Stardew? You know, I played Stardew Valley when I first started streaming, and then I played a little bit for, like, sub-only streams, but, like, Stardew Valley, I've played so much of it just, like, on stream and then, like, in my own time that I don't really know what to do with it. So, good suggestion, but, like, I probably won't play it. Have I beaten the special world in Mario Wonder yet? No, I haven't unlocked it yet. I will work on it at some point. Pokemon content? No! You know why I don't want to touch Pokemon? It's because, like... Mm, fandom culture is, like, so annoying and toxic. And, like, gamers in particular are, like, so fucking... Yes, I said the word. They're so fucking annoying. Because, like... Okay, it shatters. I'm very small, right? So, my my chat, whenever it's a stream where, like, chatting is encouraged, you guys are fairly active. But, like, you guys don't talk about the game usually. You just, like, make little comments or, like, jokes. 
in relation to what I'm saying, right? And that's like more entertaining in my opinion as a watcher and a streamer. But like if I, in general, only play one game or do like only gameplay content, we're gonna have annoying little gamers in the chat that only want to talk about the game and that to me is not fun. Like, imagine if I play only Mario Kart and everybody in the chat is like, um, actually, <laughs> you need to use this build or that is actually, this is how you play the game. It would be full of nerds and we don't like nerds. So like, that's a big reason why a lot of my like stream content, no, sorry, a lot of my clips content isn't gameplay focused, like on the TikTok and stuff. Because I don't want gamers to watch me, I think is the best way to explain it. I'm a nerd at math, and you're good, you're fine then. Yeah, no nerd zone. But does that make sense? Because, like, I feel like it also encourages more creativity. Because, like, if I play a game, and the only thing I talk about is the logistics and the mechanics of the game, then who is that content really for? Because I would very much rather have, like, somebody who doesn't like games watch me for what I say and, like, commentary-wise than, like, what's on screen. And that's why I try to format my, like, regular Mario Kart streams the way I do, where it's just me, like, chatting away. Because that's just more fun! Anyway, that's my hot take. Oh yeah, the emote show on screen. Wow. Cause, dude, if I ever get to a point where I just have a chat room of gamers, I would be like so sad. Cause you know, I want funny chatters. If you're not funny, leave. I said that on stream like two years ago, but I'm serious. If you're not funny, leave. Do you still do monthly tourneys? No. I don't. I don't know why I stopped. I, oh, okay. I think the reason why I stopped doing the Meg Esports tourney every month was because I couldn't really think of like other themes for the tourney, like different challenges or different game modes. And then also, like, it just felt less special. And I still think for my channel, it's better if I reserve playing for viewers for subs only. Because, you know, I gotta make money. And then also, like, whenever I do do playing with viewers, it's, like, random for sub only streams. And then I feel like if you show up for that, then, like, you're a fan. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Damn, is it with 22 months? That's insane. Some of y'all have been here for a long ass time. Because, like, I think the most sad thing for me as a creator is if I do a playing with viewer stream but then nobody plays and I have, like, a significant of people watching live. Because, like, if you have a decent viewer count and, like, your chat isn't active or if you don't have, like, a good handful of people play with you, then it's, like, cringe. It's, like, how engaged is your audience to... However much engaged your audience is with your content, then that shows, like... It's a direct reflection of your... Not weight... I guess your level of influence because like I've said this before if I have 10 viewers and like five people are chatting that's the ideal but if I have 50 viewers and only like three people are chatting then that's like not even worth it you know what I mean like if I start if I ever start averaging more viewers like you you the viewer and then I would also anticipate that there'd be more people chatting Anyway, it probably won't happen for a long time, though. 
Because, like... Oh, uh, once again, thank you, Issa, for the five gifted to the chat and the 22-month resub. Holy moly, thank you for your continued support. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the reason why, like, my channel doesn't pop off is because, like, I do variety. I don't play the same game every day. I also don't network. So, like, I don't do collabs. Like, if I would have done collabs, like, this past year, I probably would have gained a good handful of followers and live viewers. But, like, I still have the sentiment that, like, collabs will, like... It'll help your channel, but also kill your channel over time. Because when you do collabs, and, like, people tell you, like, Oh, follow so-and-so. Not many people are gonna, like, blindly follow somebody else. And, like, follower count is cool, but if you don't have a significant, like, live viewer count, then, like, what's the point? Like, a new follower is probably not gonna watch you right away. That one caller that one time? I mean, like... What are you talking about? <laughs> um... Dude, I'm so shiny. I'm like a Pokemon. Collab? Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, so like, cause on stream I did... I did a stream with Cutie Lee and then Emmy Beef. But like, out of those streams combined, I've only gained like five followers between the two. And of those five followers, like, they barely chat. So it's kind of like, a collab only will benefit your channel if the one of the persons has a large platform. Like, collabs are fun, but they're not good for like community building, like building your chat. Because every chat room has, like, a different vibe. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming, Cole Bobo. Because especially for live content, it takes a lot for somebody to enjoy what you do if they don't know you. Like, you kind of gotta introduce the viewers into your content. That's why, like, uploading clips to TikTok and then making YouTube videos is better for long-term growth. Once again, thank you, Hacker, for the 20-month resub. Thank you for your continued support. You guys are both close to cherry blossom badges. Okay, now we're moving on to channel point names. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. I will sing a song? Bro, you're stalling. Okay, yeah, I'll finish calligraphy first, and then I'll sing. I'll, I'll speedrun. I'm gonna speedrun. Ooh, I think I know what I want to sing today. Um, if anybody guesses the song, I'll give you a high five. Your only clue is that the musical group has a number in their name. Any guessers? I feel like it has been redeemed in a while. Yeah, I think it's been like a month. <laughs> Which, I wish you guys would redeem it more because I need to farm more clips. Twice? <laughs> Dude, imagine.
<laughs> that would be funny. I just break out in Korean. I mean, I I do want to learn some of like Hyun's songs. She's a Korean soft pop or soft or Korean R&B. One Direction, no, but you're you're kind of getting in the right era. Ain't no way. Five gifted subs. Holy shoot! Thank. You. Oh my god, you can't even see me. Look, I'm doing a peace sign. I'm doing a no. You Wait, now you can. Thank you for the five gifted. Holy moly! Thank you. Went to Mint, Poppy Lover, Geo, King Senwit, and Chip. Wow, all regular chatters pop. Thank you, Golbobo. Can we get some Golbobos in chat? Thank you. I'm glad they all went to Chatters. Thank you, Gobobo. Wait, you also get your name written. Okay, what should we do? You guys are stalling with calligraphy now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How about we'll pause calligraphy after this name. We'll come back to it. I'll hang the ornaments on the tree and then I'll sing a song. And then we'll go back to calligraphy. Deal? But thank you, Kobobo. Oh, Kobobo, if you want a sketch card, DM me a picture on Twitter by Monday. I need it by Monday. Monday, Monday. <laughs> Yay, still stalling. <laughs> you know what? Today was a short stream. I need to increase airtime. That way I can run more ads. <laughs> Even though with my ad schedule, they don't run pre-rolls unless I don't run ads every hour. So I actually make less money. But you know what? Pre-rolls are dumb. That's why like, I try everything in my power to avoid pre-rolls for you guys. I'm hiding this. Wait, can you see it? My eyebrow is twitching. Huh? What? <laughs> Not I am hiding this? Then you wouldn't have seen my eyebrow twitching. Honey, that's so much. Thank you for the 20 gifted. Holy shit. I'll say it. Holy fuck. <laughs> Wait. What if every time I get a sub, I just curse? <laughs> that would be like- wait, how f- <laughs> Stream title. One sub equals one curse. <laughs> equals one swear. <laughs> the, okay, wait, I'll do it. I'll do it for April Fools. I'm overwhelmed. Oh my god. Thank you for the 20 gifted. Holy moly, that's so much. How much did that cost, Go Bobo? Because the discount. Thank you, Han. Let's see who they went to. They went to Alex, Lurker, Cosmic Blue. Um, I don't know who that is. Beatles, Kitty Cat, Air Reception. Wait, Crystal got a sub. So lucky. Cutie? When did she chat here last? Batty got a sub? Batty, come back. Electra, YouTube watcher? It was $80? That's a pretty solid discount then. But thank you, Cool Bobo. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Wait, now you're number one. Wait, how many subs am I at? 55? Holy moly. Guys, can we get to 100? I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Do not hit 100. I'm kidding. Unless... No, I'm kidding. Thank you, Kobobo. Okay, what were we talking about? Okay, seriously? Seriously? Okay. 
Sad music? We're gonna get serious. I'm gonna put my hair up too. No, actually, I won't. I'll keep it down. But... I called my social security person the other day. And they said, like, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna get denied. Because I've streamed. Which is kind of an L. Because I don't make significant, significant money from stream. But just because I stream too many hours, it counts as work. So... They said I'll probably know for sure if it gets denied within two weeks, but it's probably looking that way. So like, hey, this is so happy. So like starting in probably February, because I'd still get benefits for January because I'm still processing my application. Like probably in February, I probably won't get any government assistance, which is an L. Because, you know, we love socialism, but like, it is very disheartening to know that like, if I ever get, like, severely handicapped, like, if I need a walking aid at some point, or, like, if I do have to get surgery, I won't get any type of government help besides healthcare, which should be a right for everybody, not just the poors. <laughs> the poors! <laughs> How pitiful the poors! But, um... Obviously, I'm trying to be, like, as transparent as I can, but... Thank you, Kobobo. You know, that will help pay for my student loans! Okay. <laughs> the poors. <laughs> okay. The pores? Yeah, you can see my pores. They're pretty big. But yeah, so... I'll, I'll try to get, keep you guys posted as much as I can. But like, starting in February, my only income will be Twitch. And then... I'll still donate Plasma. Because I would be allowed to. And then, because Plasma, you can get up to like $400 a month at my location. And then Twitch. <laughs> Sub only or what? Maybe. I said I was going to play video games with my friend. I can't bail on them. Maybe we'll do a sub only on Monday. All day Monday. Wait, do you guys have work in school on New Year's? I think usually they give you school off, right? Okay, enough stalling. Let's sing a song. Okay, whoops. Earlier you gift or you did not give. You guessed Maroon 5. Maroon 5 is the band. <laughs> Didn't we have another sub only that you owe? Yeah. Now I owe you guys too. Okay, I spend my evenings editing now. That way you guys can get little YouTube videos. Um, guys, sub to the YouTube. Here. Streams that I owe chat. One. Two. I owe you guys two streams. <laughs> I need to use this cue card for something else. Okay. <clears throat> Let's sing a song. Even though my throat is kind of fucked. Fricked. Hi, Geo. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Geo. Dude, my hair is so busted. Okay. I'm gonna sing a song. Draw a smiley under. You know what, for Hacker, what I'll do? I'm sad. You said I fell off earlier. I'll never forget it. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to sing... I almost said let it go. I'm not going to sing let it go. <laughs> Imagine. No, but I, I bet I would be really good at... Let it go, though. Like, if I genuinely practice... Okay. I'm gonna sing a Maroon 5 song. If you can guess what it is, I will give you a high five. <clears throat> Maps? Maps is genuinely a really hard song to sing. 
You know what, Kobobo? Since you gifted 25 subs today, I will sing the whole song. <clears throat> Payphone? No, I cannot do the rap verse. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to try and sing the whole song. Beauty queen of only 18 sheep had some trouble with herself. He was always there to help her she always belonged to someone else. Had drove for miles and miles and wound up at your door. I've had you so many times, but somehow I want more. I don't mind spending every day out on your corner in the pouring rain. Look for the girl with a broken smile. Ask her if she wants to stay a while. And she... I can't do the chorus. <clears throat> or the final bridge. And she will be loved. And she will be loved. Yeah. Tap on my window. Door, I want to make you feel beautiful. I know I tend to get so insecure, it doesn't matter anymore. It's not always rainbows and butterflies, it's compromise that moves us along. Yeah. My heart is full and my door's always hoping you come anytime you want, yeah. I don't mind spending every day out on your corner in the pouring rain. I'll look for the girl with a broken smile. Ask her if she wants to stay a while. I'm not going to sing the She Will Be Loved. It's too hard for me. Especially now. It's not good. <clears throat> the final verse is kind of creepy. Not going to lie. I know where you hide alone in your car. Know all of the things that make you who you are. I know that goodbye means nothing at all. Comes back and begs me to catch her every time she falls. Yeah. Tap on my window, knock on my door. I want to make you feel beautiful. Anyway, that's the majority of She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. It's my mom's, one of her favorite songs. She would sing it. Or she wouldn't sing it. She never sang. But she would play in the car all the time. <clears throat> and the family who lived down the street used to carpool with their kids. And she had a Maroon 5 CD that she would always play in the car to get to school. Oh, the final part was like... Please don't try so hard to sing good please don't try so hard to say goodbye oh no i tried my voice ain't it today but i tried Thank you for redeeming moves. <clears throat> Dude, my throat is cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. 
I'm cooked, just like this one hour of Nintendo Cooking Music Volume 2 video. I'm cooked. Be <laughs> back to Calligraphy. Oh, dude, my throat hurts. We get the VOD the four hours, imagine? How would you guys even do that? Try. There's no other redemption you guys can do. I think. But wait, if we get the VOD to four hours, then I can run another ad. <laughs> okay, we have one name left. Final chance. One more name. Wait, I have to write Kobobo's name. I lied. We have one more name after this one. Imagine I scam Kobobo. <laughs> but then if I did, Kobobo would just be like, Lomo! Emote slots available for animated animated emotes. So what emotes do you guys want to see? I don't know what else we could do. You could do the gritty? Is that what you're gonna say? You were talking about it yesterday? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, like, what did I say yesterday? <laughs> okay, but what context would you use, like, with the gritty emote? Like, when would you use it? Because I like to have emotes that are practical. Like, let's see. Bizai 2 7, bruh, oh no. Evil smile, eh, that's kind of like a niche joke. Bizai 2 gasp, that's a reaction. Bizai 2 heart, if you want to, like, be a simp. Bizai 2 whom, if you're pondering. Bizai 2 l, if you're a hate watcher. Bizai 2 love, if you're a fan. Bizai 2 pray. That one's kind of funny. Peace I to pride, because we're gauge. Peace I to punch, if you are mad. Like, what other reactions would we need? The Omega Dance with the pauses? <laughs> like, the... <laughs> <laughs> that would be so dumb. I'll think about it. I we need to think of a piece I two run. I don't want you guys to see my ass. 
Mons, keep an eye on Hacker. How would we make an unless emote? Well, I guess the Omega Dance and the stop would be like a unless. Can you do a miggle, mi miggle? A middle finger emote? No, I want to get a job at some point. Why do you guys want a middle finger emote? I don't want to get fired. You know, they're going to see that I have a YouTube channel and then get scared. <laughs> I would never do the finger. Imagine I did. Have I? Have I ever, like, flipped off the camera? I don't think I have. I'm too wholesome. I would never. Do it? Peace I too rich? I know there's some people who do like, um, a prime emote, but we don't have enough primers. Do it right now? Hmm. Wait, is it TOS to say blank subs and I'll flip off the camera? Is that bad? You know, I don't think Twitch would like that. Guys, if I get one follower right now, I'll do it. And do not unfollow and refollow, because then you won't be able to chat. Once again, thank you, Cool Bobo, for the 25 gifted. Holy moly, that is a lot of subscriptions. I'm gonna give that to my student loan servicer. College should be free, type 1. <coughs> okay, last call. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is subscribe or use your channel points. Last call. Your final warning. So no raid at nobody's line. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Thank you to anybody who watched any Chatters Lurkers. We ranked every single Mario Kart DLC track today. Now you guys can stop asking for it. Plan is simple. For tomorrow, I'm probably going to beat RPG, Super Mario RPG. In one sitting, if I can, I have two more stars left. Monday? Wait, would it be better to do a sub only tomorrow? Since it's the weekend? Maybe I'll do that. And we'll do RPG on Monday. I think that makes more sense. Let's do that. Okay, if I do a sub only, what do you guys want to do? What do you guys want? Anyway, we'll see tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> a midnight countdown stream? Dude, none of you guys would watch. <laughs> Whatever works valid my god i mean we got the classics mario kart wait how does the countdown in animal crossing work because we can maybe do that tomorrow because the problem is i think geo you said you're on west coast as well uh let's see animal crossing's new horizons new year's but, like, whenever I stream past, like, 9 p.m., not many people watch, because everybody's, like, going to bed. Yeah, tomorrow's is New Year's.
Wait, they have recipes at the shop in Animal Crossing? Oh, the shop on Animal Crossing is closed, so you have to order it through the Nook shopping app. That's dumb. Oh, so the actual Animal Crossing event is at midnight. Did I stop doing the monthly tournaments? Yes. I hate my fans. <laughs> no, I explained it earlier, but it, it just, like, it lost the novelty. Hmm. I think since tomorrow is holiday, it's probably not a good idea to do a sub-only stream, because I don't want to scam. So, tomorrow, we'll still do RPG, because that'll be more chill, and it'll be better on my voice. And then Monday, I, okay, I promise, fingers are not crossed, I promise I'll do at least one sub -only stream by the end of the week by Friday. I promise. So we'll, we'll do playing with viewers by Friday. TBD what day? Maybe Friday evening. I think that sounds good. Because I'm busy Friday morning. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you all for hanging out. Once again, thank you too. Hacker for the resub, Issa for the resub, Issa for the 5 gifted, holy shit. And then Kobobo with 25 gifted? Thank you for paying my student loans! But thank you. I'm glad you guys utilized the, the- I'm glad you guys utilized the discount. Surely, if Twitch gets a lot of subs during the discount, they'll do more! Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow with RPG. Like, I, I owe you guys two sub-only streams. They will happen, don't worry. Do not worry. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, main channel, for weekly stream highlights, and the Clips channel for daily YouTube shorts and clips from stream. I also have a new video that I got published, or that I post. I have a new video that I posted this morning. It is an edit of the Winter Wishes 2023 stream. So go watch it, go leave a comment. If you left a wish and it got granted, tell me, did you like your wish? Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all for hanging out. Once again, thank you to all the gifters today. I appreciate you. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, hacker. Bye, Dodo. Bye, wolves. My wish has been fulfilled. Yeah, you actually got your wish. Dude, I want Lemon to come in chat and see that they got a gifted sub. Where's Lemon? Dude, Lemon likes all my TikToks, but I never see them in chat. I think they're a fake fan. No way. Yeah, Lemon wished for the gifted sub, and they're the, like, they're the only chatter who actually got their present in Winter Wishes. Because <laughs> it was something that was less than, like, Everyone just asks for subs next year? No. No, then I'd have to, like... No. That would be a good bit, but would you guys actually commit? I don't think you guys would genuinely commit. But then... Okay, but then it could... Okay. Okay. If everybody wished for the same thing, then that would be, like, stupid. That's like if everybody wishes for a car, then it would be boring.
Bye, Totodo. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait, beating Super Mario RPG in one sitting. Speedrun. Okay, thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you to all the gifters. Thank you, Cool Bubble. That's a lot of money. Thank you. You made my wish come true. Okay, goodbye.